First off, I like to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to those elders and apostles out there from Great Millstone who teach and rule well. A lot of respect to you, brothers out there on the highways and byways, preaching this truth around the four corners of the earth. It's how you taste to the hopeful life that you guys may be sealed soon. And with that, this is your brother DeWald Brown from the branch of GMS here in Chicago. Coming right back at you with a little lesson in uh, Salakia, brothers. If you hear a lot of noise in the background, um, it'll stop and start. So, Salakia, if you hear some noise in the background, hopefully you'll be able to hear this video. But I got some noise in the background. I guess people are doing something above me, and it's come, and they make noise here and there. So, hopefully you get the chance to hear this video. But with that being said, I got... Uh, as you see on my screen here, I got Anton Daniels. I listen to this brother sometimes. You know, he has a lot of good, interesting videos. And he talks really about relationships and, 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 and a lot of other stuff that goes on between a woman and a man a lot. But this particular video caught my attention. It says, caught her with another man over her house. Man loses his life over a woman. And, uh, this, and, and this happens often. This happens often, you know. These women out here cause a lot of confusion, a lot of problems. And you got men out here who just don't understand, man. Sometimes you got to just stay away from these women. And the apostles and them said a lot. Hey, brothers, if you ain't dealing with a woman, man, don't deal with the B-dub, man, the black woman, man. Let her ass go. Especially if she got kids, you know, don't be fucking with these women, man. And they say it a lot. And, you know, and we always sit up here and say, if you, to brothers who got women, you know, who got children, you know, you do the best you can and you deal with the best way you can. But use wisdom and, and, you, and use the scriptures to guide you, you know. So with that being said, I'm going to grab a scripture and I'm going to play part of this video. I'm not going to play it all because the guy, Anton, he does a lot of commentary. So I'm going to play the part that I could get, you know, uh, 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 a lot of the, um, a little bit of the meat of the video. And then I'll sit up here and uh, go, uh, um, um. Bring in a few more scriptures. But before I do that, let me sit up here and bring in one scripture right quick. And that is Proverbs chapter 30 and verse uh, 20. And it's Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 20. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. And see, that's the thing. A lot of these women sit up here and do a lot of dirty shit. And then don't hold themselves accountable and say that they did nothing. Always blaming a man, always blaming some outside circumstances, but never blame themselves for the shit they do. And such is the way of a woman, man. She does a lot of dirty shit, you know, and then say she ain't did nothing or blame somebody else, you know. Now, the media doesn't really say everything. And like the guy Anton was saying, you know, people, the media twist stuff. And you'll never get the whole truth. So I just want to get to one certain part of the video. I'm going to grab a few scriptures and that'll be it. Over a chick that's gonna move on and bust it down with another dude in the first place. We're told he was knocking on the door, trying to get in for about 15 to 20 minutes. And Causing a disturbance. And then the girl. Why choose a sleep number smart bed? Can it keep me warm when I'm cold? Wait, no, I'm always hot. Sleep number. Front opened it eventually, and the ex forced his way in. Investigators say he started to assault that new oh, boyfriend shit. who had a gun who pulled the trigger on him. So. <laughs> so, and like I said before, I wasn't going to play much of it. It's like 25 seconds in Salakia for that. But in Salakia, you know, here it is. You get that that uh, that commercial. But I'm going to explain it. So what ended up happening is this guy, he came over to the house at 2 o'clock in the morning. And the neighbors heard him banging, but the neighbors didn't think nothing of it because he's, he, you know, to make a long story short, they knew the guy. So they didn't think nothing of him banging at 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, what ended up happening is the girl came and answered the door and he came in and it was another guy in the house. They got into a confrontation and the, and the guy that was in the house with the, the woman ended up shooting the guy, the, uh, the boyfriend. Now, they say ex-boyfriend and they say he was with a new boyfriend, but we understand how the media is and how the bullshit is. But my thing is, this guy, you know what? You'll never know what these women, man. She was probably still dealing with that dude. That dude just didn't come over at 2 o'clock in the morning and just tap on the door. And then when he couldn't get in, he kept tapping on the door. There's a reason behind all that. But that's neither here nor there. The, the, the whole point of this is, you got to, hey, like brothers be saying, man, you got to leave these women alone. Leave them where they are, man. A lot of these hoes are about to get destroyed, man, because of their bullshit and their wicked-ass ways, man. 
they they, they they leave the two thirds where they are, man. You know, and the, and the brothers always saying that. Listen to wise counsel, man. You know, if you're gonna get a woman, man, get a woman of the other nations, man. If you could do it out a woman, man, and just wait to the kingdom, then do that. Or even then, it's not even waiting to the kingdom. Wait till Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that Isaiah four and one is gonna kick in, man. These women are gonna come to you, man. You know, and that's just a fact. You know, so with that, man, let me sit up here and grab a. Uh, I had a few uh, scriptures on deck. Um, uh, the first one is uh, first, uh, 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 first Ezra chapter 4 and, and 26. Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. Many also have perished, have erred, and have sinned for women. And there you go, man. This dude just shot this dude over this woman, man. And you know, we'll never, we probably won't get the whole story, and it, it doesn't really matter. The whole point of the matter is when you have 90% 90, 90 of men problems when they go to jail, when they get killed, probably is due to a woman, man. Point blank, period. Due to a woman, man. Due to a woman. They end up stealing, killing, robbing, sitting up here uh, uh, fighting over these women and leaving them, you know, and all this other stuff, man. Sometimes you just gotta let shit go. And have that peace in your life. You know, and I'm not sitting up here saying every woman, man. Because some brothers got they got, got women that got kids. You know, got women that are actually decent women, man. But And then and, and you, and, and, and you use the scriptures for that, man. You just don't sit up here and just, you know, uh, get rid of a woman like that. Especially when you've been with her for some years and she's doing some of the things that she needs to do. You know, no one's perfect. Neither are us. But if you got a woman that's just totally, totally, constantly against you and doing things against you, man, you might have to rethink that 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 relationship with her. And to you brothers who don't have women, man, you might just have to be like, man, fuck this. Just keep yourself out of troubles. The apostles been saying it. A lot of elder brothers been saying it. We, uh, we had brothers saying it in class yesterday, last night while we was in class, man. You know, stay away from these women, man. They don't mean you no good. They ain't doing you no good. They only selfish and thinking about themselves and where they can get over. Let it go and let it be. And so lock you for the ram. And here's the other scripture I want to sit up here and bring out. I had First Corinthians on a um First Corinthians on uh First Corinthians chapter seven on deck too. This is First Corinthians chapter seven, and I think verse twenty seven. Here it is. Uh first Corinthians chapter seven and verse twenty seven. Art thou bound unto a wife? Seek not to be loose. Now it says, Art thou bound unto a wife? Question mark. So are you married? Do you have a woman? Do you have a wife? Seek not to be loose. Art thou loose from a wife? It's saying that as a question mark. Do you have a woman? If you don't, seek not a wife. And what's the point behind this? What is the point behind this? Because here it is, man. If you got a wife, man, don't seek to be loose from a wife, man. Because my thing is, you're a hey, first and foremost. Her salvation is tied to you, if you, especially if you're a man of the Lord, you know. Not only that, man, you, you, I always look at it like this. Is she beneficial? Is there things that she benefits? Because some brothers, man, they're coming to the truth, man, and you'll just sit up here. If she ain't doing this and doing that, you'll just get rid of her. Man, that's not, that's, not, that's not good. That's not what you're supposed to do, man. You know, you use the scriptures to deal with your wife, man. No, Don't put away your wife, you know. Now, if there's things that's going on and things she's not doing, stuff like that, and I'm not trying to give no brother no advice, but I'm saying you use the scriptures, man, to filter your life, man, and that's what we do. We use the scriptures to filter in the things that we do in our life, you know? And then it says, art thou loose from a life, seek not a wife, and that goes to you, brother. Hey, if brothers, if you ain't got no woman, man, don't be trying to get one, man, and definitely not trying to get no black woman. Not no man. Wait to the, wait for that Isaiah four and one man. Wait till the Lord man put the spirit on these women to sit up here and do the things that, and to come, to come to you man. Don't 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 be looking out trying to look for these women man. You know, and I'm not sitting up and saying you know hey, you know a brother might might want some but man you know what if that's the case go buy it. Shit, you know, save yourself the headache. You know. You seeing too many stories of women sitting up here putting, setting these dudes up, killing these men, men, men they still dating their fathers, baby fathers, and all this other nun stuff, and then they killing each other, going to jail in the grave, man. Don't put yourself in a headache. And Salakia for the ranch, Salakia for how long I'm talking, but hey, uh, you know what? Actually, let me read the next verse. This First Corinthians seven and twenty eight. But and if thou marry, thou hast not sinned. And if a virgin marry, she had not sinned. Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh, 
but I spare you. And see, this is the thing, you know. If you ain't got a woman, you ain't going to have that trouble in the flesh. That means that you're going to be able to focus on this truth. But when you have a woman, you're going to have trouble in the flesh. You're going to have trouble in the flesh. Your women is not going to agree with this truth, man. And that goes for all of them, even the ones that, that say they believe. They really not, man. You'll be better off with a woman who just don't believe. And I'm just going to be honest with you. You truly will be better off with a woman who just don't believe. And that's just facts. You know? That's just facts, man. You know, I'm not sitting up here saying it to say it any other way, man. You know, I've been with my wife 27 years. You know? And she doesn't believe in this truth. You know? But he says if you if she pleased to be with you, you live with her, man. You know? If she pleased to be with you, and there's some things, and if she doing some of the things, man, you never know. Have, yeah, yeah, how about she? I was shy, I might have mercy on her, man. Just for how she is with you. Even if she doesn't believe. You know? But uh, I just want to say something about this, man. I found this to be kind of interesting, you know. And I'm sorry, I didn't want to get the whole video, man, because, you know, he was doing a lot of commentary. And I was like, you know what, let me just get part of it, you know, just the part that I could pick. You know, hopefully maybe I could find this video somewhere and I could because I tried to look for it. And, you know, there's so much going on. Sometimes you can't find a direct one. So if I do, I might know another video on it. But with that being said, I hope this was edifying. I'd like to give all praises, glory and honor to yeah, how about Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, double honors to those elders and apostles out there from Great Millstone who teach you real well. A lot of respect to you brothers out there on the highways and byways preaching this truth around the four corners of the earth. This is how you taste to the whole phone like that you guys may be sealed soon. And with that, I always say stay praying up, brothers. Pray for each other because we're almost up out of here. So with that, I like to say Kwam Yasharela and Ababa Ball and Anya Habatam Akim. Shalom.